Hi, I'm Gwen Bortner and I'm an instructor at Craftsy. I want to take just a few minutes to show you how to do a reversible pickup. This is one of my most popular tips that I offer in many of my classes. We start along the selvage edge, picking up like we normally would the first stitch. But before we do the second stitch, we just place a yarn over. And then we pick up a stitch and we yarn over. And we pick up a stitch and we yarn over. And each time we pick up a stitch, we place a yarn over. And so we're gonna pick up as many stitches as we normally would, plus a yarn over in between every one of them until we get to the last stitch. And I'm at the end, so. As I get to the last stitch, I'm gonna yarn over and then just pick up one last stitch. So as I begin working the first row, I'm gonna purl because that is normally what I would do. But I'm purling the last stitch I picked up together with its adjacent yarn over, and I'm gonna do that on every pair of stitches. A stitch and a yarn over together. A stitch and its yarn over together. I'm gonna do that the whole way across the row until I get to the very last stitch because there will be no yarn over waiting for it. I'll just purl it. And then I'm gonna continue knitting as if I normally would and we'll come back in just a second and show you what that looks like. So as we've started working our fabric, we can see this is our normal pickup edge and it's nice and neat, but if we flip to the wrong side, we can also see this pickup edge is nice and neat because the little pickup ridge we normally have has been encased. If you like this tip, check out my Entrelot class on Craftsy.com. I'll look forward to seeing you there.